Hi, in this video we're looking at the anatomy of a chemical equation. Now a chemical equation tells the story of what's happening in a chemical reaction. And so uh, half of the equation is before, and then the other half is what these substances look like after a reaction has taken place. So it's kind of like a before and after. Um, here's an example equation. This is uh, iron three oxide reacting with carbon monoxide to form uh, iron atoms and then also carbon dioxide gas. Now the left side is what we call the reactants. Reactants are like the ingredients of a chemical reaction. The left side shows you what exists before the reaction takes place and then the right side is called the products and that's what happens uh, after the reaction has occurred. And so in uh, cooking terms, which is kind of easier to think of at first with uh, chemical reactions, uh, the left side is the ingredients and then the right side is what you end up making. It's the products. Now the arrow just represents the reaction taking place. Um, and most arrows are just a left to right normal arrow, but there are actually a couple different types of arrows you could put in a chemical equation. We'll save that conversation for later down the road. But these things highlighted in blue are just simply the element symbols for the substances in each of the formulas. The uh, yellow smaller numbers are uh, what we call subscripts. Those uh, refer to the element just before them. So for example, um, two here means that there are two irons, three means there are three oxygens, two means there are just two oxygens here. Uh, these big numbers in front that are red, we call these coefficients. Now coefficients uh, multiply out over the entire formula. So what this three CO means is that if we had a CO, uh, there would be three of these, three separate COs. So here's another C, another O, uh, and then here's another C and another O. That's what the three means. It means that there's one, two, three separate substances. It doesn't mean that these are all linked together. It just implies that there's a separation. Now, how's that different from a two in CO2 with a three in front of it? Well, this here means that there's a CO2, three of these. So that's the difference between a subscript, which is a smaller number. This, this tells you what the formula of the substance is. And that means that all of these things are chemically bonded together. A coefficient in front is kind of like a multiple. It's like saying, hey, you know, there's X number of these, but they're all separate. So there's two. And if I draw out another O, C, O, uh, that's what this here means. It means three separate distinct carbon dioxide molecules. Uh, the two here just means two separate Fe atoms. So there's an Fe and then there's an Fe. Okay, so that's what the coefficients mean. And then finally, these are actually not always in a chemical equation. In fact, most of the ones that we're going to see throughout the year won't have these. These are the phases of matter for the substance. That's why they're in parentheses. Uh, we try not to get them confused with the actual chemical formula for a substance, but S uh, just means solid. Uh, G means uh, gas, and uh, a curly, a cursive L uh, means liquid. It's cursive only because a regular lowercase l would look like iodine or could look like a Roman numeral one. Uh, now there is one other thing that could pop up and that's AQ. AQ means aqueous, uh, which means just dissolved in water. Dissolved in water. Uh, that pops up a lot in the solutions unit, um, and you'll see it quite a bit in, in chemical reactions or chemical equations. So, so that's it. That's a, uh, a chemical equation. These are going to uh, kind of tell us what's going on in a reaction. And the more familiar you become with uh, writing chemical equations and reading chemical equations and balancing chemical equations, uh, the happier your time is going to be in chemistry because this is really why we get excited about chemistry it's the reaction it's the the matter around us and the changes it undergoes that is the definition of chemistry and a chemical equation is what represents it thank you